you have the full support of my government, my administration, I should say, and uh, all those who have major roles in the government from the Department of Agriculture and the Department of Interior, just across the board. 5.4 million acres burned. That's larger than the entire state of New Jersey. When I say that back east, they used to floods and storms. When I say that back east, they, it's just unfathomable. Both my Republican colleagues from this state and the Democratic colleagues from, uh, from uh, uh, Oregon who are going to try to be here, uh, all, we all support this bill I put together on infrastructure. So when we build back, we can build back better than it was before. And it, uh, it, cre it literally uh, provides for billions of dollars for wildfire, prepare wildfire preparedness, resilience and response forest management, and public water sources. Well, you know, the reality is we have a global warming problem, a serious global warming problem. And it's consequential. And what's going to happen is things aren't going to go back to what they were. It's not like you can build back to what it was before. It's not going to get any better than it is today. It only can get worse, not better. It's not like we're going to not have more problems. But we can do this, in my view. So I guess, to state the obvious, you all are incredible in what you're doing. But I also think about the jobs we're losing due to the impact of supply chains and industries that are being held up. I'm looking forward to this briefing. My message to you is, when we build back, we have to build back better. It's not a Democrat thing. It's not a Republican thing. It's a weather thing. It's a reality. It's serious. And we can do this. We can do this. And in the process of building back, we can create jobs. We've got to change. And we got to let this build back. We've got to build back better than before. I noticed everyone around the world is using that, that, that expression now. But it's literal. We're the only country in the world that has gone through crises throughout its career, through our, our history, and we've come out stronger than when we went in. We've got to do that now. We have a chance to build back in a way that not only gets us back to where we were yesterday, but gets us to a place where we are going to be able to sustain that. It's real. And what I couldn't get done in terms of climate there, I was able to put in a thing called the Recovery Act, the Build Back Better portion of it. Whether that passes or not, exactly how much, I don't know, but we're going to get it passed. And it has money in there for resilience. But we all know if we had excessive, if we had extensive battery technology and storage, it'd be a different world. We all know that if we invested in being able to run power lines underground, it costs a hell of a lot more money. But if we made the investment, for every dollar we invest now, we save six dollars. That's not hyperbole. That is not hyperbole. We spent over ninety-seven billion dollars because of climate change. You have a chance, because of the work you're doing, to make some significant change. And literally, and now it sounds like hyperbole, save a generation. Not a joke. Not a joke. We don't stay below 1.5 degrees centigrade in terms of the earth warming. We're in deep trouble. Extreme weather cost America last year 90 nine billion dollars let me say it again extreme weather in the united states cost the united states of america a total of 99 billion dollars and this year unfortunately we're going to break that record it's a devastating loss to our economy and for so many communities